Hey guys, it's your boy Michael Byron. So guys, it's currently Saturday, November 23rd of 2024. This will be today's actual border crossing. The other one um, in the last video was the actually yesterday's that I just finished up. I mean, because I didn't get to do it yesterday. But we're on US 281. Wow, or not the cut of three, but we're technically on US 281 at the border station at the uh, International Gardens area. You're going to go to the very far right. By the way, guys, leave a like, subscribe for more content. Please leave a request. So yeah. We're in Dan, um, Sev, Dan Sev, North Dakota. It's currently 9.45 in the morning, by the way. So, yeah. You're going to go right here. You're going to go across the line. We're technically at the borderline right here. This is technically the borderline right here where my arrow, where my mouse arrow is pointing. Now, you could turn around, but there's no customs that way that I know of. This is the Canadian Customs. Now, what this makes interesting, right here, if you take a look right here, that's interesting right there. The Garden, the P International Peace Gardens area, there's the boundary line. If you go way over here, there's no Canadian Customs or nothing like that. Or U.S. Customs or nothing like that. Now, on the main road, yeah, there is. But over there it was. But this Canadian Customs station is at 10 um, MB341. We're all singing Vidian, the Vidian, I guess, MB R0K0E0 Canada. It is 24 hours, 7 days a week. Even on Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Wow. Duty free is right by for the American, I guess for the Canadian. The opposite direction, if you're going the opposite direction, you're going to see the same direction, but it's just going to be the opposite direction. But it'll be opposite. Peace Gardens to the right, rug by will be straight head across the U.S. Technically, that's the U.S. boundary line. So you're going to go this way. I think the only way you can, wait, the only way, yeah, the only way you can get back to the U.S., not just from this main road, but it looks like if you're coming from the International Gardens, you gotta go here instead to go through customs, I see, so I see now, that's what it was confusing just now, we're in North Self's Port of Entry, I think, then the sniff at Port of Entry, I think that's how you pronounce it. Which is like 10947 10, US 281. This sniff, North Dakota 5832.9. 24 hours, 7 days a week. Hours may be different on Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So yeah, we have a nearby garden. We have a nearby uh, Peace Gar the International Peace Garden Airport. Which is right by the customs. Duty for Americans is right after customs. Or if you're going to Canadian. Or right before Canadian customs. We're off the, right where the airport sits. Now this. Is interesting. This is the Canadian side right. This is the USA side. But we can't get the other side I don't think. I'm technically on the USA side. And the only way you can get back into the U.S. on this, uh, from over here, is by going through customs. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. This is the inside of it, if you didn't know. Which is interesting. I would like to go here one day. I don't think this road in the back, Peace Garden Road, won't. Well, Yeah, you cannot get out of there unless until you get back to U.S. Customs. It's like that's the only way you're able to. That's the only way you're gonna get back into USA. So yeah, how about Canadian? How about the Canadian? Canadian side is basically yeah, Canadian. You're gonna have to do the same thing if you want to go back into Canada. The you're gonna have to go through Canadian Customs. So that's how it works. So yeah. Hope you did enjoy this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and comment. We'll catch you back later. Bye-bye.